Hello and welcome to part five of building an arm and animating it. And we're going to start by just simply creating our hierarchy here and adding pivots. I'm going to start by selecting all three of these drawing modules and then pressing Control or Command, Shift and P. And that puts a peg on each one of the elements. Now I want to parent the hand to the lower arm. So I'm going to take Command P, a second peg, and attach that to the hand. And finally, I'm going to take the upper arm, Command P, and move it there. And let me just make that a little bit bigger so you can see what's happening. We have the hand going to the lower arm, going to the upper arm. Each of the drawing modules has its own peg, and the lower arm and the upper arm have master pegs. Now, in this particular example, I'm going to use, in our advanced animation toolbar, if you don't have this toolbar right here, you have to go to Windows, Toolbars, Advanced Animation. You're going to find the second one, which is the Rotate tool. And I'm going to click on the peg of each one of these elements. Click on the hand peg. This is the drawing. This is the peg. And I'm going to put the pivot somewhere at the wrist. I'm going to go to the lower arm. And I'm going to zoom in real close and put it right on that dot. The center of the dot is close to the center as I can. And the upper arm is going to move over to the shoulder. Now you can see that I've done the hand, the lower arm, and the upper arm. But we have a second lower arm peg, and we have a second upper arm peg. Now for this, I'm going to take the pivot information. I'm going to first click on this lower arm, and then click on this lower arm, the dialog box, the little yellow box in the corner. And then I'm going to grab the x-axis, copy it, Paste it, copy it, paste it, and I'm going to do the same thing with my upper arm. I'm going to open up this little layer properties box and press this layer properties box, and I can essentially do the same thing. Copy, paste, copy, and paste. And now we have an arm that if I go out into my camera view and select the hand and press B, B, first B allows me to rotate the hand, B allows me to move the hand and the arm, and B allows me to move the whole arm. And some of you might wonder why did I put these extra pegs here? I put the extra peg is sometime, because sometimes you want to just move this layer and not affect this one. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. I'll put those back. Okay, thank you. That's the end of part five.